All right, um, these are some brackets I decided to use. Uh, I was worried about what they look like. You know, they're just galvanized, strong ties made by Simpson. Yeah, I'm gonna try to squirt some of this uh, Rust-Oleum hammered paint and primer in one. Anyway, man, it's supposed to come out looking like copper, like kind of textured like that. I think it should pick up pretty good on this galvanized because it already has that same kind of texture. So. Let me give it a shot. Um, this rattle can looks like it's got a. Does it have a fan tip on it? I, can't, I don't think so, but it does look like somebody blasted it. Feels like a fruit can. Anyway, when you paint, uh, what I do is I start off here on the side and just kind of, and then do I fan it, and then it's usually what I do is I uh, do one little coat and then and then I uh, go to the next spot and then I come back in a few minutes until it's kind of started hate and then it helps to keep the paint from running when you do that if you do two thick layers at a time it will run um, so it's better just to kind of spray it develops a texture and gets tacky and then the, bond, the paint bonds the paint better than I don't know, it's a pretty good texture, but if it was a different piece, it might be a little slippery. Anyway, I just go like this. Shit. I don't know if I have to shake it up, but I kind of get the point. All right, let me do it. Me, uh, I'll show you the result. All right, this is the result of that rattle can. You can kind of see the texture a little bit. Shows up pretty well with the, uh, like the galvanized. It has kind of like a textury, but it, I mean, it really kind of does look like copper, honestly, from far back away. So, I mean, really what I was trying to do is take these ugly brackets and soup them up a little bit so that I can have them exposed and It'll still look good so i think it worked only complaint is that this applicator that they put on here is garbage um it's got a fan that's it's like a vertical fan shape on the nozzle hold on i'm gonna wipe it off i'll show you you can kind of see it there we go and it's cr so i think they make some kind of two part mixture together uh, there's a lot of like really silvery flecks you want to stand fairly far back when you shoot this because it um i don't know i had to actually shake the can like up and down when i did it to get it to come out right it was kind of like weepy <laughs> it would like just gas would come out if i just did the left and right routine and so i'd have to shake it up and down i guess to move the material around um i did shake it for a very long time but I don't know what that was about or whether it was something wrong with this can or what. But anyway, I got it to get it. Maybe it's intentional so that you can get this texture right because you kind of have to throw it on a little bit to get, you can kind of see how it, but I guess the, my remark is stand pretty far back and uh, shake that can and it comes out pretty cool. Anyway, uh, this is kind of a, I've gone a little bit diagonal on this, but let me show you what this stuff is. Rust-Oleum Universal Advanced Formula Hammered Paint and Primer in One. Works on wood, metal, plastic, masonry, and this is copper flavor. They have uh, they have uh, different textures, I guess you could say. Different. Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks.